Hayes announced his retirement on Thursday night and was an emotional trainer after his third win in the race. We'll get to that in a moment, but the first on the program was taken out by Flash Fighter, starting at 10 to 9, favourite over Marble Vane, a big run, flying Rory third at 13 to 4. Aretha ran the 1600 out strongly to win the second on the program, Jim Cassidy, first of a double. The Moyer Stakes provided a dead heat between Clay Hero and good old Ted, and they ran fast time with Prismatic Star third. Race four, the bolter of the day, Fendleton at 66 to 1 led all the way, paid odds of 100 to 1 on the Victorian tote. But the one they all came for was the WS Cox Plate, and Almorad was favourite. And down on the inside, Almorad began reasonably. Empire Rose snagged back early. Out very quickly is the Phantom Pro Cole Harem. Uh, Vo Rogue not wanting to lead. He's let about four or five go past him in stylish century. At the post the first time, the leader Tristan R trying to get up into second placing. Holding his place on the rails, the Phantom and Pro Cole Harem. Battle length and a half to Almorad, who's fought the inside of Quartz of Rogue, three wide turning out of the straight. Then Vitalik being followed by Kings High Riverina Charm. About two lengths away in the field, our Westminster, followed by Zabil. Second last as Empire Rose and Apollo Runner dropped out to be last. 1,400 left to go and Stylish Century out in control. Leading a couple of lengths now to Vaux Rogue. Still out three wide around to Procol Harum and the Phantom on the rails. And then a length back as El Morad Quartzer. Tristan Arnold having much luck. The Phillies caught out three wide. A length and a half to Vitalik. Three deep around Kings High Riverina Charm. Two and a half lengths away as our Westminster Zabil is third last. Given a crack with the whip. Empire Rose second last and Apollo Run is the tail ender. They've got about 850 metres to go. Stylish Century, the leader, about to come off the back straight. Length and a half in front of the Phantom, who's ridden along even at this stage. Vorog a half a length away third. And Small is giving him a slap with the whip. Then Pro Cole Harum. El Morad now, Clark trying to barge his way out of a pocket. He's got off the fence now to make his run. Round the outside, Tristan R. And then Pro Cole Harum and Vitalik. Further back, courts are hard ridden. Then our Westminster Kings Eye River in a charm. Still well back, Empire Rose sweeping up towards the home turn. Stylish Century, the leader. Two lengths in front now. Running second, Elmerad. Tristan R is hard ridden. They were followed then by running on round the outside. Vitalik and our Westminster. Stylish Century first for home from Elmerad. Our Westminster runs on to third now. In the straight, Stylish Century, the leader. Elmerad goes after him. Stylish Century by a neck. Elmerad nearly level with about 50 metres to go, Elmerad put his nose in front and he's won it, Elmerad won it by a nose to Stylish Century, close for third, our Westminster or the big mare Empire Rose who flew home. It's the culmination of a lot of things that you hope and dream for and it's happened and uh, I, I, you know it's, I just feel ecstatic about it. I, I... You know under the weight conditions today had to give a lot of weight away to Stylish Century and, and um, the three year old run very well and stuck to his guns but you know, my, my horse showed great fight and tenacity to pick him up and, you know, it's just a tremendous feel for me to be riding a horse like this and to, to win this race. And a great Melbourne Cup trial too and he's now equal favourite for the Melbourne Cup. Stylish Century, a big run for the Derby. Empire Rose, a very good Melbourne Cup trial. Zabil pulled up sore and he's going to miss the Derby. Now the sixth on the program was won by Zamoff, even money favourite, ridden by Jim Cassidy. And race seven was the Mooney Valley Cup. Four across the track. Citizen with the best run of them out wide. Swept to the lead now from Terrific. And then it's Candide. Cosine in the clear. But Citizen's in front with about 50 or 60 metres to go. Cosine finishing quickly. But Citizen will win. Citizen scores by three quarters. Cosine. Terrific is third. Stirring. And it was Citizen in the Moody Valley Cup at fives equal over Cosine at eights. Terrific at 13 to two. And the last on the program. Paid fifteen dollars and five cents. The quadrilla combination of seven, one, one, and nine returned four hundred and thirty-five dollars and thirty-five cents, while a quad extra dividend of three hundred and forty dollars eighty-five was paid on the numbers one, one, nine, and eight.